in the section of economic life of the Indus Valley people. Yeah. Till now we have discussed about the different types of economic activities that were practiced by the Rappan people. We have seen that they were engaged in agriculture, domestication of animals. They were also engaged in di making different type of crafts and industries. However, one of the very important economic activity of the people of Indus Valley Civilization was trade and commerce. This civilization was an urban civilization. And a large number of people used to live in the urban centers where the main economic activity used to be the secondary activities. And in that, trade and commerce was very important, was extremely important. Trade and commerce was in a very flourishing state in the Harappan civilization. Both internal and external trade was prospering. Different types of materials which were needed for the production of different type of crafts and to be used in different type of industries were procured by the Indus Valley people from different parts of the Indus Valley civilization region and also from the outside regions like Central Asia and also the Arabian Peninsula. We have evidences about it. One more thing, that is existence of wide roads in almost all the Harappan sites proves that not that the internal trade was in a very developed stage. It was carried on a large scale. And also, uh, terracotta models of bullock carts which have been found in, dif in the excavations of different sites also tells us that these were the bullock carts were an important means of transportation across land routes which were used for transporting goods from one place to another. They must have been used for carrying goods from one place to another. Harappans used to procure different type of materials required for craft production from different places. For example, they used to get sell from Nageshwar and Balakot. They used to bring carnelian from Gujarat. Khetri was an important center for getting copper which was in Rajasthan. Besides they used to also get copper, tin and gold from South India. Lapis lazuli which was used in making beads were brought from Kashmir and Afghanistan and also Sartugai. Carnelian was brought from Bahruch in Gujarat and different type of metals they used to get from Rajasthan also. I told you that Khetri was a very important region for getting copper. So they used to bring different type of things from different parts of the country and that tells us that the internal trade was in a very flourishing stage. During that period of time, probably all these transactions were done by the barter system. Besides, these people had contact with uh, people living in distant regions also. The regions which were far away from the Indus Valley region. They had contact 
with uh, the people in Mesopotamia. We have evidences about that. The Harappans, the Harappan people had the trading centers at Sartogoi in Afghanistan, which used to be the trading center from where the the traders used to be in contact with the regions of Central Asia. There are evidences that copper, which was a very important metal, that was also brought from Oman, from the Arabian Peninsula. You know that this civilization was a bronze civilization and bronze was prepared by alloying copper with tin. Different types of tools and implements and uh, crafts were made of bronze and that's why we call this civilization as a bronze civilization. So one source of copper was Oman also and uh, we have evidences that the Harappan people had connections with the Oman region and they used to get copper from there also. Besides, we have proper evidences regarding the commercial relations of Harappan people with the region of Tigris and Euphrates, that is Mesopotamia. Several seals have been found in Mesopotamia, which uh, uh, tells us about the connection with the Harappan sites. In the Mesopotamian record, there is a mention of a trading relation with Melua. Probably this name was used for the Indus Valley region by the Mesopotamians. Besides, Mesopotamian texts also speak about Dilmun and Magan, which were probably intermediary trading places between the Mesopotamian region and the Indus Valley region. Dilmun has been identified with Bahrain in the Persian Gulf and Magan is identified with Oman. So, trade and commerce in the Indus Valley region was flourishing. Not only internal trade but external trade was also flourishing. Bales of cotton have been found in Mesopotamia with seals stating that these products had come from the Indus Valley region. Lothal was a dockyard. Lothal was having a dockyard. A terracotta model of a ship with stick impressed sockets for the mast and eye holes for fixing the riggings in the ship was also found in Lothal. I told you a dockyard has been found over there. So it seems ships and boats were mainly used for the external trade which linked the regions of the Persian Gulf with the Indus Valley region and with the Mesopotamian region.